I've been doing a lot of uh, kayak fishing lately, so I wanted to kind of give a rundown of what I use when I go kayak fishing. And basically, I try, like a lot of kayak fishermen, they bring a lot of stuff on their kayak with them. For me, I try to keep it simple. Keep it as simple as possible. I don't like a crowded kayak with a bunch of things on there. Like for me, I have the Sen 133X. So the kayak is very long. It's like 13 and a half feet or something like that. So basically, the only thing I carry with me is my tackle box a battery and then all my rods. So for my battery, I have this lithium, Dakota lithium battery. It's a 12 volt, 54 amp hour. And this thing, it's very light compared to like, if you take a, you know, a traditional, take a traditional battery where it's super heavy. And this thing's 54 amps, dude. The thing, I took it fishing in Eastern Washington and it lasted me like, it lasted me like six hours. I fished six to eight hours, for two days straight. And I didn't charge it once and it came back and still had full juice. It's pretty solid. It's kind of expensive, you know, 500 bucks for this battery, but it comes with a charger and it charges really quick overnight. And you have way more cycles than you would have if you had like a regular battery. So my Packle box is pretty, pretty simple. It's a flambeau. It was like 80 bucks. So you have a bottom layer and then a top layer where you can keep all your stuff. And then I, you, it comes with two rod holders on one side and then I bought some more for the other side. And basically it's convenient because in the kayak you want, I have this in the back of my kayak where my battery is. It's very convenient because I can have the rods in the back. I don't have to worry about clutter in the front. And I can run four rods, which is very nice. And then my kayak has two more rod holders. So all together I have six rods with me at all times and they all have different things rigged up. In the box itself, you know, easy access from the top, so it's, it's in the back. I have all my plastics in here. Basically everything you can imagine. A lot of, you know, Google stuff because I like using that. So I got craws, worms, and then sankos, things like that. Swim baits, drop shot stuff, things like that. So quick, easy access. And it's pretty big. Like, it's pretty thick, so you can store a bunch in there. On the bottom side, I have all my Plano boxes. So in here, I have my tack terminal tackle cranks, jerks baits, jigs, all that stuff. And then in this box, I have my... Spinner baits, uh, chatter baits. Here's just all my line. I like Seymour Red label a lot. And then braid, some Beyond braid. Some scent in there too. I mean, pretty much this is the whole package right here. You have your all your tackle, your battery, and then all your rods. That's all you need basically. And in this way, it's just easy to carry things around and you know transfer them from your car straight to the kayak. We're talking about a kayak setup, right? For simplicity so you don't need a lot of crap like look at Daniel's setup it's all crowded and everything for me it's like nice and simple he lying <laughs> it's all nice and simple so I got room for everything you know if I want to walk up over here I can walk up and when I'm sitting down fishing there's not stuff around me. You can go easy access for the back so the back easy access right so if I want to go down, I can stand up, stand up, grab my baits, and the battery is mounted back here. So it plugs in here, see nice, all nice and clean, and it goes all the way to the front. Boom. All the way to the front. And when I'm on the water, when I'm done fishing, you know, I can, I can there's a jack play right here, so I can pull this out. See, pull this out, quick access, boom, simple. Take it to the car, boom, put it back. Hold on, let me show you, let me show you, what'd you do? What'd you do? So you put it back, there's a jack plate right here in the front. Quick J-rig, quick release. Yeah. Three of them bolts loose. Whatever, it's not locking right now, but it, it, it locks. Okay, they got it, they got it. Imagine I'm on the water, right? Got my little remote, all handy. Boom, I wanna come up. I got room and everything. I come all the way up here. Okay. Boom. Slides out. Falls in the water. I'm not going to drill it because it's going to drop. Money. I got all this room for activity. So, I can grab my rod. I can cast. Boom. I want to switch rods. I'll put my rod back here. Right here. Boom. I grab another rod. See? Simplicity is key. See? I was talking about this battery right here. What was it like? We trolled seven hours one day, and then the other day was like eight hours. Yeah, probably like three days. Yeah, see? So, what does it say? Keep KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. Oh, yeah. Sick KISS. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then eventually, you know, you can modify how you want it, but. Guy for a remote. Look at this. Look at my controller motor. I want to go there. Oh, I'm going there. 
I'm gonna go here, I'm going here. It's kind of shallow though. We'll see, we'll see. We'll try to figure them out. Dark, right? You want to see a magic trick? Whoa, bam. It's green. Guess what you this was from last time. I should have just fixed it last time. It's a bad one, bro. Shut the thumb tire. Bro, this is the juice, bro. Go to any leg, you throw it, you catch six. Wait, pounds. why are you showing them this, bro? Oh, sorry, man. Oh, 